So I apologize for the delay in the production of this very short and certainly not as detailed video of Safe Cove um, Incorporated Marina in, um, in Port Charlotte. I wanted to get more out uh, for everyone than this. However, when I put the drone up in the air yesterday, I was only able to get one battery's worth. Um, and then when I went to go put the drone back in the air for the second battery, it became an FAA authorized zone and I didn't have any cell service. And so I tried for about an hour to be able to get the drone up in the air with no luck. So the following video is that I would have gone down the rows. I'll try to get down the rows maybe this weekend. If I'm able to make it, it's still about an hour and a half, two hours drive from me. And the roads, when I went, um, you drove through a considerable amount of flooding and it just added a lot of time. It turned it into a solid two hour drive um, in each direction. So if you do have a boat that you want me to check out, please be sure to... Uh, leave it in the comments section. And um, again, I'm sorry for not getting more of more of the marina uh, and more up close. I had a severely damaged boat. My, uh, my mast split in half and I'm up against another boat, sadly. And another boat is up against me. All in all, I think I'll be able to have it see the water again. But it's, it's even with putting the drone directly on my boat, um, I, it's too soon to tell. We didn't have access to get in and walk around yesterday. No customers, at least when I was there, had access to their boats. And um, I, I, I mean, I'll be getting back down as soon as I can. So um, there's no production value in this video. This is really just for the people who have their boats at this marina so they can see the condition of the overall area and hopefully a little bit of your boat. You can see where, well, you know, what the status is. And, you know, for other people who just want to see what this hurricane did, on the way to get there, you can see this particular marina, the marina next door, this area got... The eye went directly over this. The eye of the hurricane went over this. So it was mostly uh, wind damage. We didn't get much storm surge from what I'm aware of here in this part of uh, Port Charlotte, but the wind was immense. So as you're driving here, most of the shingles are all are off most of the roofs. The trees are bent to the side and you can, it looks like a bomb went off. There are mobile home parks that just are either fully destroyed or they're just destroyed. Um, right across the street from us or briefly before you arrive here from coming from I-75, the, uh, there are both, there are, there are homes and, um, mobile home parks that are fully destroyed. Gasparilla Marina is fully destroyed right up the street, just a couple minutes away. And, you know, it's weird. Some of the boats just didn't receive any damage. It was, I don't want to say eeny, meeny, miny, mo, because as you can see, so many of the boats are over on their side. But even with the ones on their side, it doesn't, I don't know, I think they can be saved, most of them. You know, some of these are pretty big, strong sailboats, for example, and going over on their side, not the end of the world. These masts, masts can get really expensive if your mast broke. So I pray that, you know, it's not too much of an expense. I got close to one just a moment ago, and there are bimini structures destroyed. You know, that's an investment. The yeah, There are a lot of things that can go bad. We had our stanchions. Um, I all need to be replaced, but being able to get in and get close, it doesn't look like there's too much fiberglass immediate fiberglass damage from what I could see. So 
Take a deep breath if this involved you, and if you see your boat on the side, it may or may not be as bad as it looks. And um, I wish you all the best and better days out on the water. Take care.